Hi, Scorpio. It's Elle here to do your November 2019 general love reading. A uh, happy birthday to you all. If you if you know you're still celebrating, if not, happy belated. But anyhow, let's get into this, right? I should know Scorpio season. Anyhow, I have taken the liberty of pulling three cards for the energy for you this month, November 2019, for love. This is geared toward love. Um, it could resonate with you. It could not. If it does, go ahead and like, share, comment, subscribe to the channel. Go over to the website. Book your own reading there also. Um, once again, thank you. And let's get into this, okay? All right. So... For some of you, let's see, the Eight of Swords, the Moon, and the Six of Wands. All right. Okay, so some of you are thinking about You don't know what this person has planned or some something about someone not knowing what another has planned. Some of you are already in relationship and you, you're trying to get out of something, maybe loans and investments or trying to do better with that or get out of get into a better financial state. It could be with the uh, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. The moon here says that there could be something or someone working behind the scenes. There's something you don't know. Something about money also. Some, some motherly energy. Someone hadn't dealt with something in regards to their mom. Some phase here. I don't know if this is a time where someone, someone's mom or an elder passed away. Something about a mother. Someone feels stuck and tied to Some of you, so for some of you, it's like you feel tied to someone who has money or someone that does something for you. You see things differently than they do. You both want the same outcome, but you go about it differently. Uh, it's nothing but negative thoughts surrounding this particular relationship, person, there, there might have been something that just didn't turn out and you didn't get exactly what you wanted out of the situation. Um, it says don't focus on that. Move forward and understand that there might be something better out there for you. Be victorious in moving forward and making the choice to propel yourself forward, to support yourself, to... Promote yourself. Something about like motherly energy. Somebody hadn't dealt with some unresolved motherly energy. Someone's like there's an air of delusion, maybe even deceit or lies. Something being held back. Someone not being truthful with themselves about how they feel about another person also. You keep thinking about maybe an air sign or vice versa or the both of you are doing this. Some of you are stuck in thought about a relationship or marriage, whatever situation it was that didn't work out. And now you keep thinking about Maybe should you give this situation, this relationship, any energy? You could have children with this person. You could have a significant 
amount of history with this person. This is how somebody feels about you or you, they, or it's mutual. Like something, di something didn't work out. They keep thinking about you. You may even be manifesting in their dreams. When they think about you at night before they go to sleep, they think about the element of sex and intimacy that they had with you. You may be giving them money. Something about money. Money keeps you guys tied together, and it might have something to do with children. I don't know. Um, but then there's also the element of why didn't this work out? They miss you. I or they or you're saying that you miss them or there's an element of feeling like you missed out or, or why didn't this work out or grieving over a situation that didn't work out but need but wanting to go either give this person more energy more praise more attention There's an element of somebody thinking about someone constantly or consistently or on a consistent time frame or level. Like I, you think about them at night at this time or when this happens or, the, you know, the Mercury retrograde or whatnot. So then there's also like you feel like you want to go back and get attention from them or vice versa. Them, you, you also are under the, the, the self delusion about how much you really love or like them. You, you repressed it their repressed feelings you need to or suppressed feelings um that's that is what this is let's see what the shelves have closed yeah you think that this is closed or you're closed off to them but mental issues for some of you it's mom issues It could even be bipolar issues or the fact that you think about this person constantly is causing you mental issues. You think about the fact that you missed an opportunity or you missed out or it ended. Uh, beauty. You, they're very beautiful to you. Six of Wands. Maybe they get a lot of attention or you want to give them some attention. Career. For some of you, it could be career. This is love focused. You see them moving forward, pr promoting themselves, propelling themselves for, f forward in their career, getting exposure. Um, it only makes you think about them more. Magic. Everybody's getting magic. I don't know if everybody in the month of October did a whole bunch of magic or I don't, I don't know. Um, maybe you've been doing some moon magic, you know, releasing and then calling in the new. Um, and you've been very ritualistic about it. And now you're seeing the fruits of that here with the Six of Wands. It could be in your career. It could be in love. Uh, it could be in what you love to do. Uh, but there's a heavy thoughts of. There's somebody who thinks about you. You or you them, you guys have children together. What keeps you tied is that they have to keep giving you money. They have to see the children. If there were no children and then there was a break or divorce, you guys would not ever see each other again or there would be very little communication. Uh, someone misses you. Either they're not telling you or vice versa, you're not telling them, but they definitely see you they may be seeing you on social media giving you attention on social media they think you're beautiful beauty your beauty you know captivates them all over again scorpio you might even have a stalker on hand but it's not um malicious or then then they're not out to hurt you but definitely they're watching all right, Scorpio, good luck with that. Um, if you feel like this reading resonates with you, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of any of the readings below that are on sale. The 72-hour energy reading 
the 20 minute phone reading that's on sale, the situation advice outcome reading, uh, the two question $15 inter um, tarot card reading that comes to you via email. All right. Thank you guys. Take care. Many blessings. Uh, happy holidays.